cookie friends, be sure to stick around after this cookie decorating and hang out with me and Hank and talk about Bambi. So what I did was I baked a very, very giant circle cookie and I filled that with my flood consistency glaze icing and I let that set and I went in and I started watercoloring it with an extract and my food coloring. And it's a really fun, relaxing process. So take your time with that and like really experiment with how, how the um, food coloring, you know, goes on to the cookie and it's a lot of fun. Came out pretty cool. So I let that dry for about 30 minutes after. Then I was able to start drawing the characters. And I drew them because it's a lot easier um, for some kind of guidance, for, you know, for when I actually go in and fill. So as you can see, I'm using a piping bag, but I don't have a tip in it. I actually, you know, like a silver metal tip. Um, so I just cut the end of the bag and I can really get the size tip that I need. So this icing was very runny, which was great. But as you can see, it's not too runny. It's not spreading. It still stays where I need it to, but it's a really good consistency for this kind of work for me. And you can see how it just lays nice and flat. I think it's perfect. So I start doing like colors. So I wanted all my white to be done first. You know, all the brown was done first. And you can see there's some definition in there. So um, I do let it dry in between certain parts. Like you can see Bambi's legs and chest area. I let that dry so there is some natural definition in there or dimension. And this whole process, I know it's sped up, but it did take about 45 minutes. Um, and as you can see, I debated. I didn't know, like for Bambi, should I do different color brown icings or should I rely on the paint afterwards? And this time I decided to rely on the paint. So Bambi was all the same color. And same thing with Thumper and Flower, you know, black, white, and that brown. Or, or, or you know gray but I knew I was gonna go ahead and paint over that but look at the detail that's why your piping bag that tip has to be super tiny to get this level of detail in there so the key here is take your time and don't rush this is a very labor-intensive process but if you love this kind of stuff this is gonna feel like nothing it's gonna be a lot of fun so here's where I came I let this dry overnight and I started mixing my colors, mixing my food colors with an extract. You don't want to do it with water because the water might stain your cookie. The extract will evaporate and not stain your cookie. So the, the key here is to shade properly and figure out where your light's coming from. Start to add, you know, the dimension. Like you can see he has a little cheek now. Um, he's got some shading on him and it really starts to make this cookie pop. Um, some of these lighter colors, and you're gonna see later on, I used a white. The brand Wilton has a really good white icing coloring. And I use that a lot to make these lighter colors. So I would mix that white icing coloring with brown to get that really nice like creamy color right there for, you know for Bambi spots and inside his ears now these paint brushes oh there is another really great um, depiction of that white oh and that dot on the eye just really made it came all together the brushes I'm using they're food safe brushes that I found at Michael's they weren't expensive um, but you can see I have a variety of different shapes and those thin ones are really important for this kind of detail. Okay, so we're just really taking our time here. I want to shade Thumper a little bit because he looked like a gray blob. So now you want to go in and figure out how you can show his dimension, you know, his, his little arms and his little legs and feet and how can you really show that. Now I did use a picture of Bambi for reference. Um, I wanted to make sure that I was, you know, doing it justice, but I did use it for reference. Oh, and you can see on his foot, you know, I, I, I painted it badly, so I just took a paper towel and wiped that right off. That's why you do want to let the icing really, really set so you can wipe it off with a paper towel and it does work just fine. And see, even there on Flower's little tummy, I had put in too much and I said, let me use a paper towel and I actually just blended that all in to get that really nice color. And see on the black, because I can't really shade the black anymore, I put some white on there. And see, I also, you know, re removed that color on top of Flower's head. 
And here I just came in and this is the cutest part of the whole cookie was a little flower bed that flower sits in. So I just came in and put my little blobs of flower there. I knew I was going to detail them out a little bit later. And I wanted to put in some extra grass to give a little bit of background. And I had these already made, you know, that I had made earlier, um, some royal icing flowers. So I popped them on just for a little bit more like pop or dimension. And then I came in and I painted those other little flowers that I just added on there. And I really feel like it's coming together so nice. And then I wanted to add in some green, just, you know, a little bit more, a little bit more color, a little bit more going on. Added some darker green. And guys, this is, it, it, it blew my mind that I could make something like this. And you can make something like this. It's a lot of practice, a lot of work, but you can totally do it. And you're going to be so proud of yourself. So go ahead and try and give this a try. Hi, cookie friends. Thanks so much for being here with us today. Um, for those of you who don't know, my name's Larissa and this is my friend. Hey. And we really hope that you loved watching how this really oh, sweet look at that. Bambi cookie was made. Oh dear. I just, do you want to like, look at the size of this. This is like, this is like a collector's wow. plate. It's huge. Like here's Hank's head and here's the cookie. Crazy. Crazy um, big. So the reason um, why we did this cookie is because on August 13th, it marks the 80th anniversary Whoa. of Bambi. 80 years! 80 years. So Whoa. 1942, Bambi came out August 13th. That's an old cookie! It, no, the cookie was made about five wow. days ago. Um, wow. I hope you liked watching how that was made. And do you like Bambi? I personally loved Bambi. Um, it was actually my favorite Disney cartoon, Disney movie when I was little, and it reminds me of my grandma because that's what we used to watch. Like, it'd oh. be Cinderella and Bambi. I did not like the scene though, which we're not gonna talk about the scene, but that scene really- Did you notice the board? See what it says? Don't talk about the scene. Don't talk about the scene! So we're gonna not talk about that scene. But you're talking about it! Instead, we are going to talk about some Fuzz facts! Fuzz facts! Some Bambi fuzz facts. All right, Hank, let's have them. All right, so the first fuzz fact is that this movie is of very little words. There is not a lot of dialogue. I think you said there was what, like less than 900? Less than 900! Yeah, and you know what? It's crazy. It didn't even need all those words. That's pretty impressive though. The score Since was... animals don't talk. <laughs> The score was beautiful. Um, it was so beautiful to watch. Like everything looked watercolored and just beautifully animated and illustrated. Yeah. I loved it. I don't think it needed all those words. Although the no. words I remember most are bird. Bird. That was Bambi's first word. That's and weird. then I remember meeting Flower and Thumper. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Twitter painting. I'm gonna get Twitter painted. What? Do you know what to <laughs> What the fuzz? <laughs> like in springtime, like, it's weird. like the birds and the bees and like... You Can't know, talk about the birds and the bees on the show. Like dating, like, you know. What? Twitter painting. Twitter painting. Okay, go ahead, next. Okay, next one was... Many people don't know that the animators actually studied deer. I guess they They brought in to. live deer. They acted like deer. Who acted like deer? The animators. Oh. Walt had them act like the animals. For real? Yeah. Oh. So that they could stop thinking like humans. How would you act like a deer? I feel like you gotta do the, uh, like... Deer in the headlights. Okay, next. Okay. <laughs> and last one. Do you know that this movie was based on a book? No. Yes. A novel called Bambi and a Life in the Woods. Bambi? It was intended for adults, not children. Really? Yeah. I can't imagine. That's what the Google says. I can't imagine why. I didn't know that was a book. I thought that was like a Disney original thing. Did you know it was a book? A book about deer? Let me tell you, I'm not going to go out and grab a copy and read that book. No, Disney's own bad. daughter protested the scene. Really? I wonder, she did not like it. I wonder how old she was when she protested no, let me the see. scene. Um, <laughs> so someone let me know. So you know, um, a Disney Bambi live remake. 
Oh, you yeah, like the Lion King? Right, okay. Um, it's gonna be weird. I don't know if the scene is gonna be in there or if they're gonna take it out to, you know, make it not so. Was Mufasa in that one? Traumatizing for children right. and families. And... Was Mufasa? Now! Yeah. Did you have any merch? Um, so merch, so Disney. The, I don't see any merch. Disney on the table. themselves does not have, like, a ton of merch. But. Hallmark has come out with an 80th anniversary Disney ornament, which I will pop a picture up right now. Alright, so if you're like into Hallmark collector ornaments, that one's really nice. We also That was pretty cool. It's really beautiful. I'm Hallmark you, has really been hitting it out of the park with the yeah. Disney ornaments. There's also a Bambi collector's coin. Wow. If you are into collecting coins. It's actually really beautiful. Um Bambi. Coins would make sense. Why? I collect coins. Do you collect coins? I would. Oh, I was gonna say. I'm poor. I haven't even collected a paycheck. Oh my gosh! I know. Oh. Okay. And then the next thing is, I forgot. You forgot. Oh, and the next. Oh thing, dear. And the next thing is for the 80th anniversary Jim Shore. Oh, I love Jim Shore. Look at this beautiful little mini uh, Bambi. He's beautiful. <laughs> we do love Jim Shore. Um, we have lots of Jim Shore. Yeah, I mean not as many as we should. No, I think um, we what else do you have for us? Hang I have some deer jokes. Okay, these are straight from the forest. Okay. Okay. A friend of a friend of a chipmunk told me. Okay. So, what do you call a deer with no eyes? Come on, you can probably get this one. Uh, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Um, no idea. Oh. <laughs> ah, well, yes. I had no Love idea. Then. Yeah. Nice. Who did Bambi invite to his birthday? Uh, his dear friends. His dearest friends. Oh, yes, oh that's right. Yes. Yes. That was right. I should have said that with more confidence. Okay. What did Homer Simpson say when he ran over a deer? Don't. <laughs> ah, you got it. That was awesome. I mean, it's not nice. Homer wouldn't do that. No. Don't. Don't. <laughs> That's terrible. Don't what know. is a buck's least favorite type of bread? Dough. Dough bread. Dough. Sourdough. Sourdough. Yes. <laughs> yes. Sourdough. I got it. I got it. I don't like sourdough. Me either. I don't like sourdough. Kind of got a soury taste, which I guess makes sense. Oh, does make sense. Lot. Okay. All right, Hank, you did a great job. All right. Good facts. I Good still joke. got it. He still got it, guys. So once again, here is one more look at this beautiful cookie. Do you guys want to tell me, like, first of all, do you like Bambi? But who's your favorite character? Flower. Flower's my favorite. Hank, do you want to tell us a cute little fact about you from when you were little? No. Come on. No. I know it's embarrassing, no. but come on. I'll tell them. Your mom is watching. No, Say she's it. not. Say it. She never watches. Say it. She's humiliated of me. I'll say it. Apparently, oh. Hank's first word as a baby was flower. Socks don't have first words. Flower like after flower. Oh, oh not the only one who watched that movie. Don't to kill your sting ever, you little baby. You're ripping my fur up. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for being here with us today. Hope you enjoyed this cookie. If you haven't gone and watched Bambi, go ahead and watch Bambi. Yeah. Watch it again. Get all the... Well, actually, skip over the scene. Uh, and really get all the feels. Stop movie. talking about it! If you like this episode, guys, please give us a like and subscribe and hit the... Ding! For notifications. And follow us on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok. And we will see you next time, cookie friends. Next time! Bye. Yeah! Scene, come here. Stop it! No, it's okay. Stop it! Come It's a really, no, really bad... Don't. No, I'm not crying because of that! It's the really worst scene. I'm not crying because of it's that! It's okay. Come here. Don't I'm cry. not crying because of that! What are you crying over? You smell! Ugh. Ugh. Isn't that Victoria's Secret? Stinks! Gross! You can just admit you were crying over the scene. Like cotton candy and body odor! Ugh. You could just admit you were crying over the no, scene. No, I wasn't! Okay? It was your stink. You're cute, but you stink.
Yeah. No! Me, give me hugs. Don't squeeze me! Oh, oh you did my ah, best friend! Oh, 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 you so much my best friend! No! Oh. Alright, oh. give me five. Alright. We done. Done. Go. Go! Do your thing. Take your friggin' hand out of me! Live your life. Live your life, friends. Ew. <laughs> Go on.